Looky here. Good evening, Randall. Good evening, Riker. How you doing? Hi. Everything okay? Up to now, yeah. Listen up, Randall. I'd uh, like to apologize for last night. I didn't want to start a fight in here. I've got enough trouble as it is. Ah, uh, that's okay. Wouldn't it be nice if we could all get along without guns in the future? I've already said that to Riker. It just wasn't my day yesterday. Then let's hope that it stays with just the one day then. Okay. Can a man get a drink here? Whiskey? Yep, and uh, vodka for my pal Riker, right? Yep. Another one? Hmm. You're a pretty tough guy, Doc. You think so? You don't really look like it. I'm not proud about it. It can't do any harm when a guy can be assertive from time to time. Oh, yeah. It can. Depends with who. Still problems with your wife, Doc? More than ever. How would you figure that out? I don't know, Doc. What did you do with your missus? Did you get, uh, assertive with her, too? <sighs> I just did a whole bunch of stupid stuff. You... you didn't? What? Hit her? No. <laughs> no. I didn't touch a single hair. Never. It was an accident, you understand? It was just an accident. An accident? Yeah. Sure it was, Doc. Come on, that's all in the past. You want another? I'm not so sure that would be good for me, Randall. Okay, then give me another one. Chin up, Doc. You'll get things fixed for sure. Yeah, maybe. I gotta go. Randall, uh, can you put it on the tab? Hmm. You broke, Doc? No, no, just got no cash on me. That okay? Long as you're not gonna leave the state. No worries, I owe you. Right then, till tomorrow. Catch you tomorrow, Riker. You're not still pissed off, are you? Not an issue. Cheers. I've got to go. I'll come back again sometime. Mr. McNamara. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know. I'm coming straight over. Mr. Flynn? Sir? This is really awkward for me, but, um... About the bill? Yes, sir. How should I say it? There's a um, small problem with it. How should I understand that, sir? Now then, it's uh, like this. Okay, uh, listen, my account has been frozen. I have to go to my bank in Washington to reactivate the account. How unpleasant. You don't have any cash? No. I still don't have any. And you don't know anyone who could help you out? No. Uh, th that is perhaps... Look, okay, um, give me until tomorrow evening. I'll fix it. I will pay. You know that, don't you? Very well, sir. I'll inform the management of the situation. But please, sir, please, let's not have any more difficulties in your room. The extra expenses you've incurred don't make it any easier to explain to the hotel manager about your outstanding account. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't worry about it anymore. I won't disturb anyone else here again. I've got to go. See you later. Have a good day, sir. There's no point in calling again. Ingram. Perry, at last, thank God. David. So what's up? I need help. Really? <sighs> David. What? You're not making sense anymore. You need to get treatment. Now, don't talk nonsense. I can't help you, David. 
You've got to hit bottom before you can regain your perspective. What has Kim been telling you? David, she never deserved what you did to her. What did I do to her? You're driving her nuts. She's scared of you. She told you that? I'm the one who's been driven nuts. No, you're not. You're just getting drunk all the time. It's enough that she's almost blind. Now you have to change things. I'm hanging up. See you later. Oh, stop it, David. It's no use anymore. Terry. I trust you. I'd like you to help me. Will you help me? I won't help you destroy your wife's life any further. Okay. So that's your view of friendship. You know what? I can do without that. If that's what you want to do. My bags from our house. Has she gone completely crazy? Ah, oh, great, I've forgotten my coat. I can unpack those few things later. Hello? Kim, it's David. Uh, I have to talk to you. Uh, can't it wait till morning? It's the middle of the night. No, it can't wait till morning. Have you been drinking? I'm calling about that little surprise you sent me. You're drunk, David. No, I'm not. Can't we just talk about something else? About this letter I have in front of me? There's nothing to say about that. Oh, no? You want a divorce? 
After ten years? I should have gone sooner. I thought we'd worked it out. I thought you were going to give us another chance. I tried. When I get back, we'll get your eyes lasered. I've heard about a specialist who... Stop it, David. I can see your situation well enough, thank you. Better than you. I can't go on like this. It wasn't my fault. God, what am I supposed to do? It, it, it wasn't my fault. It's never your fault. The accident, the outbursts, getting fired, the drinking. None of that's your fault. So what do you want to hear? Nothing. I don't want to hear anything anymore. You called me. I'm sure you'll find a new apartment soon enough. You're ruining everything. There's nothing left to ruin. I'm tired. I've got to go. Wait. Good night, David. Wait! What then? Okay, okay, you're right. Um, but I still need my papers and bank documents, and, uh, c can you get to New York tomorrow and bring them with you? Why should I do that? Kim, let's not end this on the telephone. Please. Okay, then. But I'm not coming to your hotel. You don't have to. Um, we can meet in Central Park tomorrow at 8. Okay? Uh, come to the lake. Kim? Are you still there? We'll, we'll meet tomorrow then? I'll call you if something else comes up. Okay. Till tomorrow then? Good night. Hopefully I can get some sleep in the next few days. If only these goddamn dreams would stop. Record date, Tuesday, November the 13th, 2007. Current examination status. Further recollection reconstructions have been successful with all patients. All patients have revealed a thematic as yet unknown threat circumstance. Whether this is a collective delusion or relates to a real event cannot yet be established. That the five persons were at one and the same place can now be considered true. Indications of this being a military property are strengthening. In particular, the patient in cell number three refers to a radio room and a military frequency has yielded a corresponding signal. Regardless, there has been no information forthcoming from the authorities concerning any such installation. The condition of the patients continues to be stable Communication with all patients has improved. Fewer external stimuli are becoming necessary for the sessions. I anticipate further progress with the therapy. <sighs> Confidential note. Strange things are happening. The detective with whom I'm working has told me that the NSA have asked to see my own personal army records. I ask myself, what has the NSA got to do with my work here? I can't get rid of the suspicion that this has got something to do with my discharge from the army. My work with simulators only has a passing connection with this job. And Kim's accident. No. The investigations were closed a long while back. Although, well, who knows? Maybe Kim has been in touch with them. I no longer know what else I should say to her. If I could give her my own eyes, I'd do it. She sends things to me at the hotel almost every day. I'm afraid that she's serious. And I can't do anything. When I call her, I, I lose it. And that only makes things worse. I've got to calm myself down. Maybe I can still sort things out. Maybe. I'm having bad dreams every night. The folks in the hotel are giving me strange looks. <sighs> Confidential note ends.